super great. Fantastic. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my current favorites. So uh, like I said in my last video, I obviously I haven't done a favorites video in over five months. So a lot of things that I like have changed. So I kind of have a lot of things to show you. To show you so I'm just going to jump right into it. So starting off, I'm going to talk about hair products. I'm going to start off with hair products. So the current shampoo and conditioner I've been wearing, wearing, using, is the Tresemme Split Remedy, oh my gosh, Split Remedy Shampoo and Conditioner. So they look like this. I know it's kind of washing it out. There you go. So this is the shampoo and conditioner. So I got these at Target. I think they're like $4 or something a piece. So what it says is reconstructing complex repairs and smooths. Um, it also says reduces up to 80% of split ends after three uses, which I've definitely noticed a change in my hair, so I'm really enjoying these. Um, so yeah, I don't know how new this line is. I've never seen it before until right before I picked it up, but like I said, I'm really loving and it. To go with that, I have the Tresemme Split Remedy Split End Sealing Serum, which looks like this. And so what you do with this after you get out of the shower and you towel dry your hair or just when it's damp, you put about a pump of this into your hands and you just rub it to the bottom of your hair. Just from right, when, right away when I put it in my hair, I can feel it working, I guess you could say. I can just feel a difference in my hair. So I've been really liking this. Again, I think this is um, maybe about $3. I got this from Target as well. All Trust Me's products are really affordable. This is something that I got for my birthday, and it's a hair tool. This is called the InStyler. And basically what it does is you plug it in. Um, it doesn't do this when it's not plugged in, but when it is plugged in and you squeeze it together, this barrel rotates. Um, so you just put your hair in between here, and when you close it, the barrel rolls, rotates while your hair is in between here, and it's kind of brushing your hair as it's being straightened, if that makes sense. Um, so you can actually curl your hair with this. You can straighten it. What I usually like to do, um, this is really handy when I'm getting ready for work, and I just like to get out the door because um, I just run it through my hair. Um, it actually works a lot quicker for me than a normal flat iron, but I'll just run it through my hair and then just curl in the ends, and that's pretty much it. It takes me like a minute to use this, and I'm out the door. So, um, but you, I do have to blow dry my hair before using this. Don't use this on wet hair. So moving on to skincare. So the first thing is the Clean and Clear Foaming Facial Cleanser, and it's oil free. It says, which is always nice. But this is the product, and I use this more in the morning than at night because I'll show you what I use at night. But the reason I like this so much is when you wash your face with it or cleanse your face with it, it gives you that super, super clean feeling. Like you can literally like on your skin. Like I just feel squeaky clean on my skin and I love that. And then the other cleanser that I would normally use at night, I'm seriously, this is almost empty. I need to get a new one. But this is the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover. And it looks like that. And on it, it says uh, no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens, petrochemicals, dyes, Phthalates? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but yeah. So that's why it says Neutrogena Naturals, because it's free of parabens and all those things. And I love this because I usually use this at night, and it really takes off your makeup really well, because it is a makeup remover as well. It doesn't do so well with waterproof mascara, obviously. You need to, you know, use an actual eye makeup remover. But for everything else, it takes off makeup really well. So I love to use this when I'm too lazy to, you know, wipe it off and then wash my face. I usually just go right in with this, and it's perfect. Um, this is a little bit more on the expensive side, though. I think it's around six, maybe seven dollars at Target, but it's definitely worth okay, it. Next, I have two items that are from the company called Skin Food. I tried to look online to see if there was a website for um, people in the U.S. because I saw websites for it that were in Malaysia and Korea um, and other um, Asian countries, but I didn't see anything for the U.S. or even Canada. So I'm not sure if you can buy it online, but there are a few stores throughout Southern California that I know about. So um, I would just, you know. Check your local mall to see if maybe it has a store. But yeah, so the company is called Skin Food. I think it's Korean. Again, I don't speak the language that's on the uh, packaging, so I'm not sure. But I, from what I read on reviews, I think it's Korean. So the product that I have here is the Black Raspberry Sue Cream. And it looks like this. And it's just a facial cream. Um, the sales guy that was there, I've seen him in there a couple times, and he always seems really passionate about the product, so I kind of trust his opinion um, and he was saying this is one of his favorite products there it's all over my face at night just as a night cream and I just love it I can still feel my face in the morning feeling super smooth I just think it makes a world of a difference and so. the other item that pairs with that is the eye cream this is the black raspberry young yang serum and that looks like that and this is an eye cream this is actually my mom's I've just been sharing it with her because these products are kind of pricey um, the, depending on what 
which line you get from the store it depends on the price but I think uh, this line the black raspberry line is in the 30s 30s to 40s which to some people they're you're gonna think it's not that much but you know I'm a drugstore kind of girl so that is a little bit more expensive to me but I've really been enjoying both of these products so this is the Revlon color stay whipped foundation it claims to um, last for 24 hours I haven't actually worn it that long cuz you shouldn't but um, and the color I have it in is 150 buff and so I've actually tried to do two different ways of applying this with my hands and also with a flat top brush um, from Sigma and I like it both ways so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like <laughs> so you can see that it's actually really thick like it isn't it's really thick so I'll just go ahead and show you real quick just barely dab it it's a very thick foundation but it doesn't go on thick it actually blends on really nicely um, it doesn't feel cakey at all I'm wearing this today obviously because I'm obsessed with it but, but. so another one I've been loving is the Maybelline dream smooth mousse so that looks like that and you know it's, it's crazy the, the packaging I feel like is so bulky well obviously so is the last one but it looks huge and then you take it off and it's just this little thing that holds the foundation but so it looks like this and this I definitely have to apply with a brush because I feel like when I use my hands it kinda just like dissolves into a watery consistency it's really weird but when I use a brush it goes on great like if you can see it on my finger it looks kinda patchy which is really strange so that's why I always apply it with um, a brush but when you do actually apply it, it looks really nice. The one thing I have to say about this product is if you do have oily skin, I don't recommend it at all. Um, I've been having days, days where my skin has been oily more than others. So on those days, I definitely don't use this because it can make my skin look more oily. So um, I haven't been using that this as much lately just because it's been hot. And with the hot weather, my skin gets more oily, which makes this makes it worse. So it looks great on my skin. Um, I love how it uh, applies and I love how long it lasts on my skin. But on these hotter days, it just hasn't been working so well for me. Otherwise, it's super great. So next is my Bare Minerals Well Rested. So this is what it looks like. And it is an eye brightener. So um, i just open this. It is a powder. And it looks like this. It comes with a little sifter that you can rotate. Let's see here. That you can rotate and get the little product. So what I usually do is just do two taps into the lid. And then also, well, I'll talk about this next. But I just use this brush. Um, I'll tap it into here, I'll just swivel it around, and I just add it right underneath my under eye, and it just brightens it up, brightens it up so much. It doesn't, it's not a huge, drastic Kim Kardashian brightness, <laughs> but if you do one eye and don't do the other, you can definitely tell a difference. And so the brush that I use to apply that is this brush here from uh, Real Techniques, and it's by uh, Samantha Chapman, who is Pixie Woo here on YouTube. So she has her own line of brushes. These are from Ulta. I think you can get I think you can get them at Amazon as well. Um, but I got mine from Ulta in a set. And this is the contour brush. So it looks like this. And I like it because it's nice and dome shaped, so it's really perfect to get right under here when I use my well rested. Um, and it has synthetic bristles at the top. Bristles, I always can't say this word, but yeah, so I just love that to apply that product. Okay, two blushes. First one is gonna be from MAC, and this is called Pinch Me. Just a powder blush, and it looks like this. Um, I'm not sure if it's... It looks like it's picking up pretty accurate on camera. It's actually almost like a light brick red, if that makes sense. So it's not really dark brick red, but it's similar to that, just, you know, a couple shades lighter. And it is a uh, sheer tone blush, is what it says on the packaging. So, let's see. That's what it looks like there. Yeah, that looks crazy dark, because I rub the crap out of it, but it actually applies really nicely, especially if you use a nice fluffy blush brush. It applies really nicely, and I love that. This one I've had for so long. I've had it for at least a year. I know I used, definitely used it in tutorials last year, um, and this is by Rimmel London, and it looks like that, and the color is Mauve Cool. So it's this nice uh, coral color. It's almost similar to Coralista by Benefit, but a little bit lighter, but I love this because this is one of the best blushes I've Hat. It's great because it's from the drugstore, so I think it's like $3 or something from Target or wherever drugstore you go to. Um, but I feel like it lasts so long on my skin. I'll put it on in the morning at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, and I come home by like 7 o'clock at night, and it still looks great on my skin. And it's there, it's bright, it still is, almost looks the same as when I first put it on. Okay, next are two eyebrow products. I use two different products to do my eyebrows, one to outline them and one to fill them in, which sounds kind of weird, but if you've seen my older 
older videos, like, I don't know when, maybe summer from last year, the way that I fill them in is different than the way I do it now. Before I would kind of just fill in my natural shape. Now I kind of overdraw them because my, my natural bra, bra, my natural brow shape is so thin and they don't grow um, that if I just fill them in with the natural shape they are, they just look kind of like like chola eyebrows, to be honest. So I have to kind of overfill them to actually make them look nice and thick, you know, like how a girl wants her brow. So uh, the first product that I use is Maybelline, uh, Maybelline Define a Brow, and the color I use is in Dark Blonde. So it looks like this. It's just a pencil. Um, it looks like that. And you just twist at this black part right here, and it comes up. It's like a mechanical, whatever you call it. It has a little comb on the bottom, too. So yeah, I usually use that to just kind of outline and get my basic shape of how I want my brow to be. Outline with that, and then what I used to fill it in is by Milani. This is the uh, Brow Fix Brow Kit. So it looks like that. Um, and I have mine in uh, number one light. So I guess it's the lightest shade that they sell. So the colors look like this. There's a highlight and then a light brown and a dark brown, or I guess blondish colors. I actually just mix the two to fill in my brows and... I love it. Um, I have to use a pencil because if I were to outline them and then fill them in with powder, I'd be sitting there all day. So that's why I use a pencil to outline and then a powder to fill in the rest. Next are two mascaras. I actually layer these on top of one another to get the, the look that I go for. <laughs> um, but this first one is called Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume. Looks like that. I've been actually using this all year long. Well, not the same tube, but this product. So it looks like that. Um, and the color is in black. <laughs> Nothing special, just black. And let me just quickly show you what the brush looks like. I initially got this because the brush looks so similar to the Benefit Their Real Mascara, but for a fraction of the price. So I was like, heck yeah. So this is what the brush looks like. It's kind of just spiky all over, and then it has the spikes on the top. So the little spikes on top help you get in, you know, the inner corner, the outer, you know. So I love that. So I apply that one first. I usually apply two coats of this. And then on top of that, I use the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. So I do two two coats of the Revlon and then one coat of this. And I feel like this just makes them, <clears throat> excuse me, this one makes a lot more volumized. And then the plush one kind of, it gives it volume, but it also gives them, I don't know. I feel like it separates them a lot better. So it separates while, while giving volume. So again, I have this one in very black. Um, let me just show you what the brush looks like real quick. There's that. So it's just kind of random and fluffy, but I just feel like it makes my eyelashes look nice and separated, but still thick. So I love that. All right, guys, so that's it for my favorites video. I know it was long. I got about 37 minutes of editing to do. Hopefully I can cut this down as much as possible, but I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I showed or if you have anything you want to recommend to me. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.